Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to share with you all a recipe for cauliflower or gratin or cauliflower pie if you want to call it. And for this you're going to need one small head of cauliflower broken up into florets. You'll need milk, garlic, onions, all-purpose flour, white pepper, salt, cheese and I'm using a combination of Gruyere and Monterey Jack. If you can't get those cheeses you can just use your regular cheddar cheese. I'm using some grated carrot, some bell pepper finely chopped, and some butter. So you're going to put up a pot to heat up, and to that pot, you're going to add in the butter. Once the butter melts, add in the onion and the garlic, and you're going to let this saute on medium or medium-low heat until this softens. Once the garlic and the onion start softening up, add in the bell pepper and the carrots. Season this with a little bit of salt. And if you wanted to use different types of vegetables or even the frozen mixed vegetables for this, you can. I'm just going to let this saute in here for one minute. Okay, now I'm going to drizzle in the flour don't just dump it one place because if you do it's going to get very lumpy now you're going to mix this in to cook that flour and i would say cook that for about one minute okay after that one minute you're going to add in the milk and i'm using whole milk i prefer using whole milk and put in the white pepper and I also prefer using white pepper because I like the sauce to remain white and I don't like to see all of that black pepper in the sauce. Now we want this to come up to a simmer. Once this starts simmering, add in the cheese and you can add low fat cheese, full fat cheese, any type of cheese you wanted, you can add it to this dish. Mix that in. And you want the sauce to be very thick and very creamy. Also, at this time, you can taste it for salt and adjust that salt accordingly. Okay, next, add in your cauliflower florets. And if you wanted to use broccoli for this, you can mix. Okay, once you've mixed in the cauliflower you're not going to cook this on the stove it's going to cook in the oven so you're going to take this off the heat now and place it into a baking dish okay so to gild the lily i'm just going to grate on some parmesan cheese and it's always better to use the block of parmesan rather than the one in the bottle because this has all the flavor the one in the bottle to me that makes no sense so always try to get the one in the block I'm just going to grate a little bit over top and now I'm going to go in and sprinkle in some dried parsley flakes. This goes into your oven at 350 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes until it's golden brown and bubbly. Now if you are making this in one dish I would suggest you leave it a, leave it a little longer. Okay, so these are finished. They don't take very long to cook and when it's hot, it's best served like that. So as soon as it comes out of the oven, if you can serve it right away, it tastes so delicious. So here you have it, my cauliflower or gratin. Just zoom in so you all can see. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. Try it and let me know down below if you like it. If you're new to my channel and you like what you see, I hope you like and subscribe. Once you subscribe, you will be updated on all the new videos that I post. And I tend to post a lot of videos very regularly. So thank you all for watching and I will see you all another day with another one of my recipes. Enjoy!